Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set a automatic time delay trigger to your Divi overlay. And so uh, it's very simple to do. The first thing you're gonna do is navigate to the overlay that you'd like to set the time delay trigger for. And you're gonna scroll down on the right side here uh, with the box that says automatic triggers. And so by default, none is selected. And so we're gonna select time delay. And so a time delay trigger is a trigger that will make the Divi overlay pop up after a specified amount of time. And so uh, you can do zero seconds if you want it to display uh, immediately, immediately after the page is done loading, or you can set uh, a, a five second delay. It's completely up to you. And so I'm gonna leave it on zero for this demonstration so we can see it right away. And I'm gonna go ahead and click update. So it's as simple as that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page here. And then as soon as it loads, you're gonna notice it immediately triggers the Divi overlay. And so uh, that is how you set a time delay trigger. Uh, you can do that uh, again on, for zero seconds. You can add a five second delay, 10 second delay, whatever you want, uh, completely up to you. Now, one thing uh, you may wanna consider with an automatic trigger is uh, adding a close button cookie uh, expiration. And so, uh, for example, uh, when a user closes the Divi overlay, chances are they don't wanna see it again right away. And so what you can do is you can set a uh, close button cookie for a certain amount of days. So for example, if you set it to seven days, that means when they come back to the website anytime within seven days, it's not going to show them the, the same pop-up again, assuming they're using the same browser and they didn't clear browser cookies or anything like that. Uh, and then after seven days, if they come back to the website, it will show the pop-up. Uh, and you can do that all the way up to 99 days. And so uh, with the 99 days, it's not going to show the pop-up again if they navigate back to the website. Uh, we'll have another tutorial here that will talk uh, more specifically about that feature, but that's something I wanted to point out uh, is you may want to add that uh, so you don't annoy your visitors with the automatic pop-ups. So that's it for this tutorial, and we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.